I am Laura and you're watching Laura X Annie. So today I am here with Mary's character arc. I have been dreading doing this because Mary is one of those characters I cannot stand. So let's get straight into this. The sooner I do this, the quicker it's over. So let's start with obviously Series 3 because that is the first time we see her. So Series 3, Episode 1, we first discover that she's actually very funny and she's very down to earth, at least that's what we think at the time. We think that she's a good match for John and that she also likes Sherlock. She wants him and John to continue a friendship. We see this by I don't shave for Sherlock Holmes that little small bit. You see that. Um, and then later on in the episode when John is in the bonfire but before this you know Mary gets a text and she can read code which I think is the first sign that there's something different about her that she can read code because it's not a normal thing that everybody can read. Let's move on to episode two. Obviously it's the wedding day but she gets both boys during the episode we see the flashbacks in that she's getting both boys to take each other on cases so that they can go and do a case so that they kind of not get out of the house but obviously she wants them to bond and obviously Sherlock's focusing his time on making this wedding day brilliant for John and of course Mary and then at the end of the episode Sherlock deduces that Mary is pregnant but why couldn't John deduce it? There's your question for the day. If John's a doctor, how could he not diagnose that she was pregnant? Do you know what I mean? You would think that there would have been morning sickness that John would have seen or something, you know, which then led me to think maybe the pregnancy was faked, um, which that was a big thing for me. because I was like, well, why couldn't John see it? But obviously we know that's not true or we think that's not true due to the fact the set lot photos we've seen with John holding a baby. So it could be that she really is pregnant. And on to episode three. This is the episode which mind fucked me and probably most of the Sherlock fans due to the fact that Mary isn't who she says she is. She shoots Sherlock, which is the minute her likeable character went out the window for me because I actually loved Mary. I love Amanda Abington. I'm not saying I dislike the character of Mary, but I don't dislike the actress. Amanda Abington is one of my favourite actresses. She's actually pure brilliant. I love her to pieces, but I think I just don't like Mary. Just the way her character is, and I don't think that's Amanda. Amanda's fault, she's played it so well, but um, I just don't like the character of Mary, and I never have, even in the, the old Sherlock Holmes and the uh, Robert Downey Jr. films, I didn't like Mary. She isn't who she says she is, she shoots Sherlock and that's the minute that it goes out the window. But John still wants Mary as his wife. But is that false? I've read a few conspiracy theories that says it is false and I don't know myself. But it could be false, we'll find out in season 4. Then on to the Abominable Bride, the special episode. Let's just take a look at the Mind Palace scene at the graveyard. In Sherlock's head, Mary is in charge of John because she goes, because obviously John goes, I'm taking Mary home and she goes, excuse me? Mary's taking me home. That is not something John would ever do and to have in Sherlock's mind he says that Mary is now in control of John, that is not right. She hacks into MI5. I think that now she feels in this special episode she feels secure in the fact that she can be herself now because Magnuson was shot by Sherlock. She knows she'll be protected and John will still love her but actually does he? Would you love the man or the woman that shot your best friend? Would you still love them? So my series season four thoughts are that it's obvious by the set lock photos the baby has survived so are they about to have a domestic life? The set lot of photos we've seen at by market was Sherlock, John, Mary, the baby and the dog. Is it going to be that? Is she the new Moriarty? We have seen by set lot of photos as well as Andrew Scott was seen on set and doing the whole I back that, that photo where he's going like that with the two bodyguards next to him actually has made my day. But the photo of him with the headphones and going like that is actually my home screen because it's just so funny. Um, but could 
that with Moriarty be a completely another drug fueled mind palace experience for Sherlock and it's not actually real? I may have said it before but my belief is that Moriarty is a name that's passed down and passed on so could Mary be the next Moriarty? I think Mary was a sniper that was on John in the day of the fall and I think she fell in love with him and that's why she went for him um, because if you think back five years ago Mary Morstan didn't exist and if Sherlock was gone for three years just saying and last of all I think at the end of season four Mary will be caught slash put in jail or she'll die. I don't know but that is my preference is what I would like to happen. I would quite like her to be caught, put in jail, all that. That would be good. Well I would take that. Um, but yeah I don't want to see Amanda Abington go from Sherlock. I actually really like her. I just don't know. I don't know how to feel about Mary. I really don't like her as a character and this is not because I'm such a John Locke fan. I just don't think it's Oh, I think John deserves 10 times better than an assassin. Like seriously, he deserves so... Someone who doesn't lie to him, he deserves someone who does And I know Sherlock likes him, but he deserves someone who doesn't lie to him. Oh, oh. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys on Monday with a new video. See you then. Bye.